Today, we're going to be checking out the build by stuff that's from the new expansion pack, Life and Death, that comes out on the 31st of October. And thank you so much to the EA Creator Network for the early access. Mm. Okay, so here's all the items that you get in the pack. That's not from the build section. We'll get to that later. But here they all are in all its glory. And oh, by the way, I'm so sorry for this little name tag right here that's popping up. That is because it is an early access game. So I had to have that right there for security reasons or whatever it was. I don't know. So it's not me who's putting this in, okay? I think it's annoying too. But all right, let's check check out these items let's start with the bed the double bed right here we got one classic ish one and one kind of modern one. Oh, and by the way i really wanted to put out all the items in all the different shades you know to show you the range of the shades but when i did that the lot started lagging like no other so it's just gonna have to be like this <laughs> hello this is not from the future one thing that i forgot to mention because i was just so excited to show you the furniture is that the new world ravenwood is inspired by the romanian countryside so that means that some of the furniture also has some inspiration from the Romanian culture. Yes. And also, there are two main styles in this pack. One kind of macabre classic style, old time style that you see on the left there, and one kind of fancy modern style. And that goes along for all the furniture in this pack. And that was basically it. Thank you. Back to the video. But back to this bed. This bed has some beautiful shades. I mean, we got the classic brown and a more cream. And we got the darker ones. And a completely white one and a complete black one. And I really like the patterns on this bed too. Got some fun stuff going on there right and then the modern bed it also got some fun old funky colors and shapes and sizes oh we got a little purple moment in here that's not often you see in the sims <laughs> and then we have this coffin right here which is actually a bed and you wouldn't really need this coffin if you already have the vampires pack you know you know but it has some different patterns on it at least and then the cutest item in this whole pack the toddler bed the toddler bed has some string lights it's just such an adorable bed and the colors too <gasps> oh that was a lovely the color oh we got a purple one that's good and then we have the bassinet which i mean this bassinet is all right it isn't my favorite bassinet but it's at least something you know <laughs> and then onto the couches we have this couch right here which i think looks identical to the couch we got from the cottage living pack if i'm not mistaken and that's all i gotta say about that but we got this new couch this kind of modern one and we got all the new colors as well the blue the blacks oh we got a purple one and then we got this bench which is an outside bench and i love this bench look at that that is awesome <laughs> And the details on the bottom as well with the grass patches. Mm, I like that. And then we got them in different shades as well. And then we got a bar stool in the modern style in all the nice shapes and sizes. And again, we got a new ottoman. Oh, and that's also in purple. Wow. And we also got a new pool people in the same color scheme as all the other furniture. That's lovely. And then we got this rocking chair with a beautiful little pattern on it. Oh, with the birds as well. That's really cute. I like this chair a lot. And then we also got a new sitting chair with the spiky spikes on them. Lovely. In the same color colors as the ones before we would have thank it and then we got this big old chair which really reminds me of the chairs from get famous and the chairs from that storybook nursery kit in my mind they do at least and oh we also got this new dining chair which is kind of funky in all the new colors and we also got this big old chair i do really like this chair that's good for the scary merry houses you know in the same wood swatches as everything else that's very cute oh and then we have another dining chair this is kind of funky with the whatever that is called the legs and the arms of the chair <laughs> Yes. In all the nice, nice colors. Oh, I love the purple one. That is lovely. Oh, and then we also got the new office chair in the same modern style and the same colors. Wow, I do love this cream one. Oh, and then for the tables, we got a new dining table. This small little round table with the funky, funky base <laughs> with, of course, some nice wood shades. Wow. And then we got this new dining table, which is super fancy. So it has like some steel legs and the marble top. And let's look at the swatches. Oh, that's lovely. We got like a cream one. Oh, and a dark green dark blue and some real marble tops the pink one. <laughs> oh, that's really lovely and then we have this accent table apparently that's what it's called with the funky skinny legs and the marble top and the same swatches i do believe yes it is the same swatches and then right here we have the nightstand in the normal wood swatches that you could ever want ah i like that and then we have a coffee table this big old octagon coffee table in the normal wood swatches and it got lots of details actually on the sides there ah, nice and we also got this little teeny tiny little coffee table in the marble than the funky style with the books underneath there too. Let's look at the swatches on that. That's kind of cool. I like that. And then we have this table. What is that? A pedestal table. Okay. In the same swatches. Yes. They really do have that noise. And then we have this item, which is a trunk of 
Secrets. And I love the swatches on this one. That is so cool. Like, look at this chest. The details. I tell you. The handles and stuff. That's gonna be so lovely in my belt. In everyone's belts, really. And then we have this TV table. With the lovely little doors. I do really like the details on the doors. I don't know why, but I love that. And then we got the green, the greys, dark blues. Oh, and the purple one. You can make a whole purple house in there. Wow. And then we have this. What is this? The cabinet of curiosities. Now you know. And I love this item. Look how cool that looks. That fits well for a funeral home. For some reason it does. <laughs> and we got the same shades as everything else. Wow. And then we have two desks. One in the modern style and one in the old classic one. And the modern one comes with a lot of little details. You know, got some paper, some other stuff, and that little quill thing. And it got some skin and little legs. It really does. <laughs> and it, of course, has the same swatches as everything else. Because otherwise it wouldn't match the other furnitures. And that would be weird. And then we have this desk, which is a classic one. And look at the details on that. <gasps> that is lovely. I like that. Oh, on the back as well. I love this desk. Let's look at the swatches. Oh, we got some nice brown wooden colors with some details. Blah, blah. And then we have this. What is this? Hutch. A haunted hutch. Oh, look at that. That's kind of scary. I like that. <laughs> and got some skulls on it. Got some nice details all around town. Oh, I like that. Whatever color that is. Red, purple-ish. Oh, and the black with the gold. The green. That is the blah, blah. And then we also got some new shelves. We got this one, which is Quilted Memories. So it has a shelf on top here where you can put stuff on, of course. And then it has this quilt on it, which has some interesting stuff. I mean, we got the Grim Reaper. What more could you want? We have it in white one. Oh, and the quilt also changes in the shapes and stuff. Oh, I like this one. Oh my gosh. Where were you when I built my Norwegian homes? Where were you? Well, anyways, we also got this new shelf, which is kind of modern. And I love it so much. <laughs> Look how cute that is. That actually looks like a ghost, this part right here. And then we got two little cubby holes in there with the little ghost in the jar and the little plant. And I think that that is so cute and adorable. And look at the shades. Got some nice ones. Got the blue, the pink, and the black and white. Wow. And then we got this new shelf, which has some marble and some jail bars. <laughs> and the lights underneath, actually. These are some fancy, fancy shelves, people. I do gotta tell you. And then we have this, which is the bathroom shelves that has some nice details on it. And let's look at the shelves. The shelves, the shades. And there was the shades, people. It indeed was. Okay, and now for the items that I'm most excited about. The kitchen. We got new kitchen items, people. We, we do. <laughs> and just look at this. Not only did we get counters, we also got a new stove, a new stove hood, a new fridge, a new sink that matches, new cabinets, and a new dishwasher. When was the last time we got a full kitchen set? When was the last time? I want to know. Because I cannot remember when we got a full kitchen set like this. I mean, that's incredible and also kind of sad, but it's incredible for this bag that we got so much. And oh my gosh, this is the best part. The fridge. Do you notice anything different about the fridge? Maybe you notice that there is no gaps between the counters and the fridge. Like, let's get a normal fridge in there. Look, gaps. New fridge, no gaps. And I love that. And it also got a window in there too. <laughs> With all the nice shades, you know. It matches the other shades that we have looked at. And the stove too. Smack dab onto the counter right there. And it got some beautiful shades. Look at that. <gasps> the dark green, the black, the brown. And the maroon color. Oh, it got some lovely, lovely shades. And also, the same with the stove hood. Got the same colors. Oh, it's lovely. And then the counters have a nice white one. Nice brown. And this is like emerald green one. It's beautiful. This blue one. And the one with the really marble, marble top. <laughs> and this one. I don't know how I feel about that one. That was a little bit too much for me. Moving on. <laughs> we also got this one. A red one. Brown one. And then a total black and white one. And we also got the same one with the island piece. Very lovely, jubbly. And the sink, of course, with the same colors. And I love the sink. I love that the sink matches with the wrecking counters. Oh. And of course, the cabinets follows the same swatches, you know, you know. I like them. That's very nice. And here's also how the cabinets look in all the different versions. You know, it's the same all, same all. And then we got the bathroom set. You know, we got one more sink that has the skinny, skinny legs with a little towel right there in the same swatches. Oh my gosh. Can my name tag get away? Please. Thank you. <laughs> we got this pink one, which I love. And the red one, the brown one, the black one, the white one. Oh, that is beautiful. And we also got a new shower in the different swatches. I really like this shower. It's kind of fancy. And then we also got a bathtub. This round old bathtub. Kind of reminds me of an egg. A very stretched out egg. And it also has some skinny little legs. And it follows the same shades and patterns. Oh, that was a very marble one. <laughs> the stripes on that thing. Oh, the purple and the pink one. Oh, that's very lovely. But guess what? We did not get a new toilet. Why? I don't know. But here we are. Okay. We also got a new bar. A new bar moment. With all the funky new patterns on it. And it also got this little menu board that kind of looks like a headstone, you know? <laughs> so that's kind of cool. And it has new shades. Oh, I like that. Oh, that was a funky one. Oh, okay. And then we have this bar, which is very grand with all the stuff that's going on. <laughs> and this is so detailed. Look at that. I mean, that's amazing. Look, even the taps. <laughs> There's a little ghost in the skull. Oh my gosh, my name tag. Get away, get away. Thank you. There's a little ghost in the skull. 
That's kind of cute. Let's look at the shades on that one. Oh, we got some very dark shades. Oh, the green one, gray, white. And then we have the thing that you have behind the bar. The bar shelves. The shelves of the bar in the same color scheme. And it's so detailed. Look at the little skulls on there. Oh my gosh. That's actually so freaking cool. <laughs> All the little details on that. All right. And then we have the bookshelves. We got this classic bookshelf for the short walls and the tall walls. And it's just so nice. Look at all the colors. Oh, that one was lovely. So we got the different swatches for the bookshelf itself and also the books in the bookshelf. So you can make some ambiances with that. <laughs> and then the same one in the top one. And I love these bookshelves. They're so neat and nice. And then we have this bookshelf, which is kind of more down to earth. You could call it for the normal people lips. We got a little photo frame in there oh, with a little box with a ghost on it. Oh, that's cute. And I think it has some lights in it too. Oh, that's cool. Let's see about the shades. Oh, we got the white one, brown. Oh, and the photo frame changes too with the colors. Oh, that's kind of cool. I did not know that. And then we have a dresser. And this is a dresser, people. Neat and nice and nice and neat. I love the handles and the doors. It's just magical. I think I'm going to use this a lot because it fits with a lot. Not everything, but some things. All right, now we're going to move on to the real funeral stuff of this pack. And we're going to start off with these headstones. And we got a lot of them. <laughs> and these are not just decorations. You can actually use them in live mode for your actual graves, you know, you know, you know. So we got this grave in all the nice shades and this pointy grave with the rose on it. Oh, and it also has some grass patches on the bottom. And we got this one, which has a raven or a crow. I think it's a crow. It's so cool in all the different shades. And then we got a slanted pointy grave. <laughs> and I love the little markings on it with the sun. And the hourglass with the wings. Oh, that's kind of sad. And then we have this grave that looks very shabby. And I love it. And then we have this grave with the skull on it. And we got all the other shades. And then we have this grave with the little tree on it and the flowers. And it also has the same shades. And then we have these two, which are grave sites. And you can put your frickety frickety headstones on them and you can also decorate them with stuff however you want to make it personal or not it's up to you and this gravesite comes in a lot of different wood swatches and also dirt swatches <laughs> like you can get complete dirt or nice flowery grass or some dirt again half grass dirt and i think that that is lovely and then we have this stone version of the gravesite in all the different shades oh and then we have the crypt people that you can also be buried in and look at this this is such a cool build with all the vines growing on it the dirt i love the details on that and it comes in this version then a oh a very white one the windows oh that is beautiful i love the colors in this one and then the last shade what is that oh <laughs> this is the scary berry one and we got the green reaper in the windows oh my gosh that's actually really cool <laughs> okay and then we have all the funeral stuff this is the fearless funeral beer beer fire something the table you put the coffin on and it comes in the normal wood shades and this table is used to put the frickety frackety coffin on there for the funeral services and this coffin comes in the some nice nice shades we have it in pink no why couldn't there be a pink coffin i don't know but there isn't oh and then we have these tables these are the memorial tables and you can either get them with all the stuff already on it or you can get them plain and you can put your own stuff on it and that's the truth <laughs> and you got them in the wood version and the stony version and we have the same shades and the stony version too got some grimy ones got some clean ones we got it all people and these tables are used for like funerals memorial services or you want to remember that person <laughs> that's that people and then we have a little podium that you can use when you're going to talk about your beloved and it has some nice wood swatches and then this thing right here which is called the memorial cannon i am not really sure what this is <laughs> have you ever been to a funeral where they had a memorial cannon because i haven't and oh then we have this little towel right here and you can use this to gaze up at the moon moon bathing if you want to and it got some nice old shades in some different patterns you know got some flower ones got some skulls for your emo days and oh my gosh we have this little guy the little mushroom guy holding a flower he's so cute i love him so much this is the little mushroom guy in the different shades and oh my gosh it's so cute and this is called the whispering wren messenger statue and you can put this on the memorial table or whatever you want and you use this thing to send a message to a deceased loved one and i think that's kind of cool it's so cute and then we also have some memorial flowers that you can put up at the funeral or anywhere that you would like and then we got this picture frame right here and this is called in loving memory a timeless capture and i'm not 100 sure how this works because i haven't checked out the gameplay yet but it is a picture frame that you can put a picture of your sim in. That's as far as I know. But it is in the activity area. So it isn't like the other picture frames that you get. So it's something magical about it. Oh, and we also got a new journal. This one. A little journal book that you cannot change the color of. But it looks like this. And then we got this sign. The different <laughs> signs. On oh, that is so cute. Yeah, we got some bar signs. Whatever that is. With the funeral <laughs> stuff. This is gonna be so useful for different builds. And what is happening there? Do I ever want to know? And then we also got a little stack of tarot cards that you can actually use. Because it's in the activity area. Wow. Alright, and then for the wall decorations we got some new wall scruffs in all the different uh, sh shapes and sizes and i'm gotta be honest
honest, I'm not really a big fan of these. I've tried building a little bit and these ones, they don't work with anything. Like you have to have a very specific wallpaper for these to work or else it just looks weird. And especially not these ones. They do not look good, not at all. Because the graphics on them are just, they're not good. They're very low quality. <laughs> Ooh, and then we have these bloom decals. Can my name pop out of this frame? Thank you. So this is one and the same decal and you get them in the different flowers and you also get them in blue and the other blue one and that's it. So if you want to decal up the place, you can now. And we got some new posters and pictures and ah, I'm excited. First of all, we got the new Ravenwood's Pride Tarot prints, which it's amazing. Here's all the new tarot prints. I mean, they have made their own versions of the major arcanas in the tarot deck and also one from each of the minor arcanas too and two extra ones. And like the artwork is so freaking good and they've put in their own spin on it. It's just, it's amazing. Like I want this in real life. Do they sell these as posters? I want to know because I want them. And then we got a new poster collage of the Grim Reaper and stuff. So these are all the new versions. You know, we got some ghosts, a little bit more edgy stuff, a raven or crow, the eye symbols. I'm going to use those a lot. I do tell you. And then we have this new collage, which is called Grimspiration Gallery Wall, which I have no words. I love this so much. Like we got Grim on the wall. I think this is like the worker of the month, you know, because there is a new Reaper career or the Grim Reaper career. One of those words are correct. So that they put Grim in an office environment. It's just hilarious to me. And they also have some different versions. We have this one and we have also this one with the blueprints and the pie chart <laughs> and also this version as well with the graphs and the word thing and <laughs> it's lovely and they all come in different wood swatches as well and then we also have this painting right here with the gold frame that comes in some different versions so we got the magic portal the birds the flowers the green reaper and the portal again in all the different shades of frames wow oh and then we got this little plaque right here which i think is an unlockable oh unlock that level 10 of the funeral director branch oh so we get this little plaque right here beautiful beautiful and then we got the new mirror in just a normal metal colors and then we got these ones which are called darkened as a curtain arch and no these are not curtains these are curtain arches because apparently that's a different thing but yeah they come in the normal wood swatches we got a small one and a tall one and i think this is for the tall walls and this is for the normal walls or the medium walls ah we got two of them in other ways we also got a grandfather's clock with all the cute little details with the skull on it i love this one all cute details and ah and then we got the fireplace oh my gosh look at all the details look at the skull this is so scary and yet so fantastic i love that and oh i think this is from debug you can't get it from the normal catalog oh yes you can mama say you got this crow <laughs> right here which is a pet by the way and then this one is from debug i see how it is i don't really know what you can do with crows yet but you can probably do something and then this one is from debug this is the death frog i found him and now i love him look at that little guy in his little cage love love and then we got some new books with the crows on it or the birds hello mr birds and you got some different shades in it that's very magical it's very majestic and then we have this thing what is that since you've been gone it is a scent thing and you got some different colors as well <laughs> all right and then we have a little urn for decoration purposes only and oh my gosh then we have this big old teddy bear with the carrot on the back <laughs> this is kind of scary for a little toddler you know but all right we got it in different colors it's kind of funny to me we got it that funny <laughs> and then we also got this little statue which is an unlockable in the mortician branch and it's called the murphy membrane and now you know and then we also got a little freezer bunny right there. Look at him go. In just one shade, if you're wondering. And then we also got a little quill right there. And also comes in some different shades. And then we have this little cutie patootie. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? The little ghost in the jar. And it comes with that classic white one. And the little blue and red and the black one. And it's called Johnny the Jared Ghost. Adorable. And then we have the no ghosts allowed sign. So if you put that up on your lodge, no ghosts are allowed, people. We got them in the clean version and the dirty version. And life is good. And then we also got these bottles right here. Okay, so these ones are nectar bottles i see how it is the different shades and this one what is that do i even want to know this one is called secret goopy bottles so we really do not know what that is but anyways we also got some new plants we got this new flower right here which seems kind of dead but it has a pink one then we got this palm fan looking thing in all the different shades oh i like the green one and then we have some little roses in the nice nice vase oh that is lovely all right and now we got this tent which is the dancing raven taro tent and i love this thing so much look at all the details on that it got a little skull we got some lights got some signs we got a dream catcher some books it's truly magical and let's see about the different shades oh we got a purple one dark red one and a brownish one i wish that this had more shades to be honest i don't know all right so this is just decoration you can't actually use it but it's still freaking cool i love that <laughs> a lot and then we have the carpets we have a little carpet a big carpet and a round carpet so we got lots of cool patterns oh i like that one the flowers and all different 
different shapes and sizes and then we also got these ones which looks like a plain old carpet but you can like make runners with them and stuff you know so we got a red one a green one and a black one and it's the exact same in this one just it's smaller that's it and then we got the round carpet and this is so exciting because not only does it have swatches with the round shapes but it also has swatches with the octagonal shape which i have been wanting for so long now you have no idea how many times i've built an octagonal room and i've needed a carpet like this all right and then we got some holes in the floor <laughs> look at that and i also think that they work on roofs which i will show you later so you can make some really shabby houses with those i'm excited for that <laughs> and then we got some new lights as well we got this light with the triangle tray in the different shades i like this one it's a little bit shabby too nice detail and then we got this little lantern right here and then we got this round old lamp in pure gold with a little bird on the side <laughs> then we have this standing light which is actually kind of cool and we got the nice metal shades wow and then we got this one which oh it's supposed to be a flame coming out of there okay i see you could use these in the crypt and that would be lovely i see how it is and then we got the ceiling lights so we got the very modern chandelier and the very classic chandelier right there and i love me that chandelier it's not too much but it also is not too little and then oh my gosh we have this monstrosity i have no idea why they made this to be quite honest with you because look how much space that takes up and this is supposed to be a ceiling light how does it look from underneath i mean it looks decent enough from underneath but you who's playing this game are not going to be able to see anything under there so that's interesting interesting choice they made but anyways let's move on to the wall lights and i love the wall lights i especially like this one it's a little candle light right there it's just so wonderful in the different shades too and then we have the more outdoorsy lights or the crypt lights in the different metal colors and they're so macabre and classic and they got some dirty shades oh hello the pink and white one that's cool what was i saying yeah they got some clean shades and some a little bit more dirty and run down shades like this one i like that and then we got some new string lights with the metal pole we got them in different colors as well oh that is lovely and of course there is a pole too but i'm using the pole for this one so you gotta wait and then we actually got some new playground equipment we got some new monkey bars and we also got two new swing sets i don't know why they decided that playground equipment was important for a life and death pack but i do gotta give it to them this fits in really good i mean that is a scary swing set and we also got a wood one in the same wood swatches wow and then we also got a new banner if you're gonna have festivals you know and the cute little girls and oh they have the banners that looks like little flags oh that is so cute. You can have lots of different festivals with that. And then we also have two new columns. We got a wood one that's kind of skinny and has some details. And also has some good old swatches in that. And I love the little tree details on that. That is lovely. And we also got a stone one, which is a little thicker. That one has some beautiful details in the bottom too. And this one has some clean versions and also some dirty versions. Like look at all that grime. I love it. And then we also got some new fences. You know, we got this one that matches that column. And we also got this <laughs> fence with the hay on it. And I kind of like that. And they come in the same wood swatches as everything else. Then we got this fence. This is worn wooden fence. The same wood swatches. Oh, that's lovely. So some are more worn out than others, you know. Got it all. Got a red one too. And this fence matches that column. And it's lovely. Oh, and then we got very grandiose fence <laughs> with the spikes on it. And this one too comes in like clean versions and also some dirty versions. Like this one. That's my favorite. And it's just, oh, it's lovely. The grime on it. And then we got some new gates as well. We got this gate right here with the spikes on it and i think this gate is for this fence or it could be this one too actually and this one again has the same wood swatches as everything else oh and they all come in their grimy grimy version so you can create different moods oh and then we got this gate right here the grandiose gate look at all the details on that oh my gosh and the spikes holy moly me and this one also comes in all the different shades and some grimy ones oh my gosh oh <gasps> wait no come back oh that is so cool there's all the green stuff on it and the rest i love me some rest not in real life in the same and we got this one what happened here not gonna lie that kind of looks like blood moving on we got these new spandrels and this is how they're looking very curvy very lovely and they also got some dirty versions in all the same colors that we seen before all right now let's have a look at the new wallpapers we got this one which is called the ornate skulls with authority and it comes in a lot of different shades you know got the green got the yellow got the blue and a red one and a black one white gray red and green it's almost christmas time and then we have another wallpaper that's called the pattern and perilous paneling so we got some normal wallpaper with the 
paneling. They had some cute little shapes on them. First when I saw them, I thought they were Christmas trees, but they were not Christmas trees, sadly. But they got some nice shades to them, got some browns, got some reds, got it all. And then we have a wallpaper with just paneling, and they come in two different variants. One in just one solid color like that, and then one with the lighter colors in the middle. Did I explain it well? I don't know. But they come in the normal brown shade, the dark brown, and a very dark brown that kind of looks like black, and then this beautiful red purple-ish color. And then we also have this green one, which does not have another version of it. Why? I don't know. But we also got a gray one, and then a totally black and white one. Yes. And I absolutely love this wallpaper so much. I'm going to use that wallpaper so much. I do tell you now. I am. And then we have another wallpaper that's called Lunar Reveal. Reverie. I'm not even going to comment on that. I'm going to move past that. But this has some wallpaper, which I think are butterflies or moths. Either way, kind of cool. And it has some paneling on the bottom and a little bit of marking on top. And oh my gosh, the game is glitching. <gasps> Here we got the, like the caramel brown one and the dark, dark red and the dark, dark green, the black one. And then we have the same wallpaper, but just with our and skulls on it and they are so cute they remind me of harry potter kind of ish limit ish we got the same color themes and then we have the wallpaper with the crows on it and i'm not really sure how i feel about this to be quite honest it's just too graphic for me you know i don't know what that would fit with but maybe something i think the only one that i would actually use in the build is the white one because it's kind of not that out and about there but anyways now for the outside wallpaper and we're gonna look at sinister stones which are some nice bricks <laughs> i did not know they were called sinister stones but yeah they are some bricks and then we got the gray one which is very clean looking and then we got some more grunge versions where you can't really see the brick as much kind of smudged up you know and i love these bricks and then we have the same version of those bricks but just with the trims on the end they all have the clean version and the grimy version i mean look at that the trims are looking amazing not that i'm ever gonna use those wallpapers because i never work with any wall <laughs> all righty and then we have these stone walls in like the clean versions and dirty versions i don't know which is which but they are some stone walls these are not my favorite they just look too cartoony to be realistic is the base game version better honestly it kind of is oh well, anyways there's another wallpaper for the outside it's called a curious concrete layers and we got some nice nice colors we got some plain ones and then we got like a pastel orange and then very orange and then yellow mint green blue pink i'm not sure what this color is called in the region it's called gamalurusa and then we have these walls which are called curious concrete wait these are also curious concrete oh this is curious concrete layers and this is just just curious concrete and these walls i mean they have some good texture on them looks kind of dirty you know but they all come in the same colors as the last one as you can see and then they also come in their own dirty version like so in the exact same colors you know we got the white got the gray got the black got every color right here and i'm not really sure how i feel about this type of wallpaper because don't we have the exact same one in the four red and love struck one so if you have those two packs you really don't need this you know and then we have the new flooring which is a nice wooden flooring it has that pattern on it and we got it in the black a very dark gray a kind of warm gray the white the cream lots of lots of different wood colors and we got some red some kind of purplish one the very red and then like an emerald color oh, that's very nice i like that all right and now for the windows holy golly gosh the windows <laughs> i'm just gonna show you the windows first and then i will show you all the different swatches afterwards because i have laid them out for you guys so first of all we got this little square window right here with the wooden frame and then we have these two windows which are exactly the same it's just different on the bottom and then on the top you know you can get a round version or a square version people then we got this window right here that is kind of similar to these two but just with nothing fancy on it you know and oh then we got these two windows the round ones that goes to the bottom and look at the details on that and this is how they're looking on the other side still round <laughs> then we got this little window right here that is perfect for towers by the way and then we got this window which is reminding me of something but i can't put my finger on it and then on the inside it looks like this little cool shape right there and no if you're wondering this pack does not come with new curtains so good luck with this window situation and then we also have this window right here with all the frickety frackety details on it and the same cool window shape right there and then we have these two windows with the intricate frame on the inside too they have that same round shape uh -huh. and then we have these two windows which are kind of like greenhouse windows i do believe so we got them for normal walls and the tall walls no the medium walls i think yeah right so this is for the medium walls and that is for the short walls and the same here medium walls and the itsy bitsy walls and then last but not least we have this window a boxy window look at all the details oh my gosh and on the inside isn't that so cool that windowsill it looks like a church or something like a freaking old castle and it ended up in my face all right and now for all the window shades <laughs> this looks ridiculous and what happened here by the way oh holy moly me i forgot the stairs here are the stairs with the same pattern that's on that 
the one wallpaper I showed you. This one right here that I didn't really like. Yeah, well, guess what? You got in the stairs version as well. And um, yeah, what can I say about that? Okay, that isn't that bad. I take it back. That kind of has some intricacy to it. You got a black one too. All right. And then right here, we got a new foundation. This one right here, Spine Chilling Stone Foundation. So we got them um, in the different shades. And some warm tones, some dark tones. And we also got the grindy versions. And I love these. That is freaking cool. I'm going to use this a lot because I love the grimy stuff. And by the way, it kind of looks like we're in Shrek's swamp right now. Doesn't it remind you of uh, Shrek? It reminded me of Shrek. Anyways, here's the different window shades. We got all the normal wood swatches right here. And then we also got some versions that are cracked the windows. And I freaking love that. But there are only these two versions in the cracked one, by the way. So remember that. But we do got lots of different shades. And then we got like a warm brown right there. And the cream and the white. And a blue one. And a red one. And then we have these windows in the, all the new shades. So we got the whites and the greens and the browns and the red one and the green one. I love the green one, by the way. I do. And then we also have this version of the window that does not have the details on the bottom and also has a different window frame on it, but it's still under that same window, you know. And they have the exact same colors just without the details that was on the other one. Oh, and then we have this window that follows the same color scheme as the other one. Nice, nice colors. And also a solid black and white one. And this one also has a version with the details on the bottom and different window frames. Still the same window though. Remember that. Still the same window. Wait, oh my gosh. I got a huge flashback. These windows really look like the windows that you will find in Oslo on like the old apartment buildings. You will find these types of windows. Holy moly me. That took me down memory lane. All right. And now we're onto the windows that made Nora very, very confused <laughs> when I laid them out. Because in the menu, when you're just looking at this window, it does not come in this order that I put it up right now. It comes in a very hoity-toity bubbity bubbity order, okay? So I thought that they had put up the same window a bunch of different times. But if you look very closely, there is a difference to it, okay? So obviously we have the clean version and the grimy version. But then I was like, this is the same window. But no, this window is the grimy version, but with the broken glass. It's not very noticeable, but you can notice it a bit. And that's the same with all of these windows. They all got three different versions. And then we have a plain black and white one, which does not have a dirty version for some reason. And then it's the same way for these windows. They all got three versions each in all the different colors. Look at that cracked glass, people. I love me some of that. And the black and white one. Yes. And then we got the cage windows. I almost called them. That also has a clean version, a grimy version, and a broken glass version. I know when you change the swatch of the stone, it also changes this little color section right here. So we got like a little yellow. This one got a little blue. And the red. And blue again. And the plain black and white one. Wow. And then we have this window. And I absolutely love these colors, by the way. <laughs> and these windows come in two versions. The clean version and the broken glass version. So you have the Statue of Liberty color. <laughs> I can't remember what that color is called. I'm blanking. And then we have these windows, which for me look exactly the same, like the shades of colors. But these are different windows. And I feel like I'm being bamboozled right now. What is the difference? Okay, this is black with some rust on it. This is black with a little bit more rust on it. And this is black with more rust on it or blood or whatever that is. Well, they got the clean version and a uh, broken glass version. Good luck with that. And we also got this copper one in both versions. And this beautiful white one. Oh, that's cute. And here's the version for the medium walls. And they are completely the same. They have the same swatches, everything. Yeah. And then we have these round windows, which again, has a clean version, a grimy version, and a version with the grime and the broken glass in there, which is so cool. I love the little grass on the bottom. We got that in all the different shades up in here. Got some cool tones, got some warm tones. We got a red and black one, which is scary Mary. Then we got a totally black and white version. And I do really like that they put in very neutral colors, like they're totally black and totally white. But I just don't understand why they can't put in the grimy version or a version with the broken glass. Because what if I wanted to make a white building with the white windows and broken glass? You know, what would I do then? I will download some CC. That's what I will do. But anyways, here's this window in the clean version, grimy version, and the broken window in the same shades as the other ones. Oh, I love these windows. They're so cool. Oh, it's the Peter and the Worm Society. And of course, black and white one. Can't miss them. And also this version of the window with the same concept going on. We got the different colors as well. Oh la la. The red and black one. Ooh, the grime is for real on that one. Okay. And also the black and white one. Ooh, and then we have these windows, which you guessed it. Comes in a clean version, a grimy version, and the version with the broken glass. And each version has a different color on those little uh, thing imaging is on the top <laughs> right there. The stone patches. I don't know. I try my best. I really do. They all come in the cool little version. And also a black and white one. Ow. Oh, and then we have these windows, which are exactly the same as these windows. The only difference is that these are 
for medium walls. And yes, they come in all the different glasses and then grime. All the grime that you can want. And the same goes for this window. It's the same window, just for the tall walls. Medium walls, I mean. We do not have any windows for the tall walls. What a shame. Alrighty, and then we have the doors. So we have this one, which is kind of macabre and scary. <laughs> and it comes in the normal wood swatches. Oh, and that was it. They do not come in a clean and a grimy version. It's just one version for each one. And then we have these cool new doors. I mean, look at that. That is a very scary door. And it comes in, you guessed it, the normal wood swatches. No dirty swatches though. Mm -mm -mm. And then we got this one, which is the exact same door, but just with a gold frame around it. For the more fancy moments. Oh, that is very fancy and scary. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then we got this door, this very intricate and detailed door. Oh my. That is a door and a half, people. And then we have the Grammy versions, the shabby ones. The paint is kind of chipping off, you know? Okay, so only these doors has a, a shabby shade to it. Very interesting. Why not the green one? Because that's my favorite door. Oh, here is a door for the medium walls. And it perfectly matches the style of those other uh, windows right here. As a lovely. And it comes in the, you guessed it, the regular colors and the shabby versions. Ooh, that is lovely. And then we have this door, which is exactly the same as this one, but it's just taller. And that's it, really. In all these beautiful shades. Lovely. Oh, and we actually have a door for the tall wall height. Oh, I would have never guessed that. But yeah, I think this door is the exact same one as that one. If I'm not mistaken, yes, it is. It's the exact same one. Just taller. And then, ooh, for the stairs, we also got some new railings. We got the wooden railings. And you know, the same color swatches as everything else. Got a red one as well. And then we got the stone version that has the clean versions and the dirty version. So you can make lots of moods with that. You know, you know. And then, actually, we got some new roof tiles, people. We really do. We got this roof pattern. Boom! That's called a gloomy weathered tiled roof. And it has a beautiful red roof. We also got in the brown version. And then light orange version. Oh, hello. That is so cool. The different colors and stuff. I like that. And the dark version. Kind of a, oh, I do not like that. <laughs> I was surprised for a second. That's kind of like yellow greenish type of deal. And there's a gray version. And a white version. And a very black version. And then we have the gloomy weathered glass roof. Whoa. And this is kind of like a greenhouse roof, you know? But it's just more shabby. And look at all those details with scratch glass and everything. <laughs> and we got a dark green one as well. And ooh, a copper one. Hello, hello. Then a kind of a brown one. And a, what is that? A reddish black one, maybe? That's very scary, Mary. And a white one with the rust. And then we got some roof holes that you can actually put on the roof. So we got a small one and a big old one right there. And another one with a different pattern on it. And I think that that is so cool. You can make holes in the roof, people. Holes in the roof. And then we got the ghostly spire pinnacle, which is this spiky thing that you can put on the roof. And these spiky things, it's called a Victorian arrow roof crest. Hmm. And then we got another spiky thing that looks kind of similar, but it has a different bottom. I see how it is. And I think they come in different colors. Yes, they do. And they have some dirty ones. Oh, I love that. And the white one. That looks like blood, doesn't it? I think it's supposed to be rust, but it just looks like blood. Oh, and this one too comes in clean and a grimy version. And this one too, I'm guessing. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Oh, and then we have this eerie elegance parapet. Parapet. I don't know how to say that word, but it's this thing. And it's kind of cool. Got some little spires. And let's see about the shades. Oh, there's a lot of shades here. Okay. We got a pink one with the grime. I'd love to see that. I can finally make my grimy Barbie house. That was a lot of shades for that one. <laughs> I like it. Oh, and then we have this. What is this? This is a foggy night in Ravenwood chimney. That was a long way of saying chimney. But yep, this is a chimney. I thought it was a little house at first. <laughs> like a little birdhouse or something. I don't know. But yeah, that looks very cool <laughs> with the exposed brick and stuff and the little roof. And let's see about the shades. Oh, I love that little roof. I love that so much. Oh, this is lavla. All the different shapes and sizes. Is there anything else that I've missed? Oh, we got these. Downward spiral freeze, which are these ones that you put on your house. It is very wide. It's like a tile wide, that thing. And you know, you got it in the same shades as before. Same wood shades. Some dirty. Some not. They're all trying their best in life. I mean, look at that. That's details. I'm floating down. Okay. And I think that was it. That is all the items that I could find. I think there's more in debug, but my debug is not really working that well <laughs> in this version of the game. So we may never know what's in there. But anyways, what do I think of this pack? I really love this pack, to be honest. This is like my exact style. You know, I love the classic furniture with the intricate details on them. I love the cult stuff. I love the kind of scary merry things, you know? So this is like right up my street. I love this pack. And we even got a full-on kitchen, which is good to have, you know? And these posters are my favorite tarot cards. They are just magical. And all the different windows with the grime, and the doors, and the wallpaper. So I would say if you are into this type of style and you love the spiritual occult things, like this game is about the Green Reaper and life and death and funerals and all that shebang. And if you're okay with all that, then I would say that this is a good pack with what I've seen from the build by section, okay? I haven't played the game yet. That still stands, you know? But from a build by perspective, that's a good pack. It's a solid pack. It's better than 
the love strike pack i do tell you <laughs> it is that's just the truth it's much better than the love strike pack they got some really cool stuff well all right that was it i hope you enjoyed this video i really enjoyed this video i got to see some cool new build stuff and i'm really excited about that and don't forget to like subscribe because it really does help me out so um thank you but only if you want to only if you want to and i will see you guys next time goodbye